Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And this is rant number two for today, December the 15th, 2022. Nothing like, you know, a year-end rant. Um, so, of course, a couple of weeks ago, we started noticing that Windows was pushing an old update, 21, the, uh, the 501, 2170, from uh, back in August. I'm just going to go see it here again. I have it on both my machines now. Uh, so we started, you know, people saying, like, well, there's this update that's out. And uh, here we go, 501.21.70. And this is an update that was released in August, turned to be having tons of problems. There was a BitLocker recovery mode problem for some. There was some uh, problems with others that uh, couldn't install it. There's an error message. Uh, basically, back in August, Microsoft simply said, oh, well, you know, update your UEFI BIOS and things are going to be just fine. Yeah, this, you know, it's like, first of all, it's it's the first comment of, of the first phrase there. It's like, yeah, like you're asking people that, have not even an idea of what that is to update their UEFI BIOS. And you're like, yeah, that's obviously somebody that um, has no idea how most people are when using Windows, which is very, you know, down to earth, not really very techy. And you expect everybody to understand that you have to do that. And, you know, we kind of, it's kind of faded away. And now it's kind of pushed again, and a lot of people saw it arrive. I got it last week on Windows 11 22H2 here, but I got it at the same time as Patch Tuesday on my Windows 10 machine here. Now, in my case, nothing bad is happening, but I've seen a lot of comments on the channel and everywhere where the same exact problems that were in August are arriving on their machines again. The... Um, recommendation of Microsoft, again, is to update your UEFI BIOS, like everybody knows what that is and how to do it. Now, they're confirming that they're actually pushing this again. They have acknowledged that, yeah, yeah, we're pushing this again. And I understand that it's a security update that needs to be done and everything, but who who takes these decisions and what? where are they living? What planet are they living on exactly? Because, I'm sorry, you're pushing against something that didn't really work at the beginning for a lot of people. It's still not working for a lot of people. And you just kind of don't understand exactly, you know, what the problem is. Updates should not... Um, you know, be pushed um, on systems that are not compatible with it. If if an update requires some other update, it should not even appear. And it's a complex thing here because um, how can you, you know, nobody will know what to do. And if somebody's stuck with an update that doesn't work well, KB5012170, uh, they're stuck in a loop and you're pushing it and you're pushing it again and what do you don't understand that there you got to do something else you got to find a way or work around anything but I just don't understand what Microsoft is doing right now it is getting worse and worse all the time, and I am, um, you know, and I'm a little fed up because a little something else is happening that is kind of making me on the edge with Microsoft right now, and I'm like, okay, um, you know what, uh, what are you guys doing? And obviously, the more I see things happening, the more I'm like, what, you don't care about your users? I mean, hello? Um, you're, you're, you have an operating system called Windows and it's got to work and it's got to do what it needs to do. So, I don't know. Um, wake up Microsoft, okay? I don't know. There's some people that need to be fired. You need to replace them with people that know how to deal with real users and how to deal with an operating system that 
obviously, especially with Windows 11, it's like going in a very weird direction. It's like, who are you guys exactly? What the hell is happening with this? Okay, so if you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.